This story is brought to you by Boron, the world leader in homeopathic medicines. In the world of homeopathic medicines, few things might be as confusing as homeopathic dilutions. We hope this short story will bring some enlightenment. Good morning, Melanie. My best friend Christian gave me some homeopathic medicines for stress, but now I'm so confused. I'd like to buy new ones and I can't seem to understand which one is best for me. What's the problem, Samuel? Well, I have this medicine, Gelsemium 30C, that he recommended for apprehension. I went to the store and found that there are other strengths like 6C, 12X, or 200CK. Maybe they're stronger than what he gave me, but how do I choose? What if I take too much? Do you know what 6C, 30C mean? Well, I suppose that's the medicine strength, as in aspirin 500 milligrams. Samuel, this is very different. Let me explain that to you. Okay, I'm listening. First, the dilution 6C, 12X, 30C tell us how the homeopathic medicine has been manufactured, or more exactly, how it has been diluted. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, for instance, your medicine gelsemium is made from the root of yellow jasmine, a vine with yellow flowers. Eating some triggers headaches, double vision, trembling, cold sweats, and the feeling of anxiety. Well, that is exactly what I get when I'm stressed out. And this is why the homeopathic preparation from it will relieve your symptoms, according to the principle of similars. But if it causes the same symptoms, then mine should be worsened by that medicine. No, Samuel, because the medicine contains only very tiny amounts or dilutions of the plant. So 6C, 30C referred to the degree of dilutions. Exactly, Samuel. Let me tell you how they are manufactured and then you'll understand. I hope so, Melanie. Let's start from the root of the yellow jasmine. Once controlled and crunched, it is macerated in water and alcohol. And after three weeks, we get an extract, the mother tincture. The tincture is about as toxic as the root itself. So we cannot use it. So from the tincture, we start the dilution process. For gelsemium, the tincture is also called 1X because we are using one part of roots for nine parts of solvent which is a dilution by 10, X in Latin. Okay, so far. We prepare the 2X by diluting the 1X 10 times and shaking it vigorously. This succussion or dynamization is essential to get an active medicine. So the 2X is more diluted and less toxic than the 1X, but still could cause side effects. So we keep diluting. Yes, the 3X is prepared the same way. We diluted the 2X 10 times and we succuss, and so forth. 4X, 5X, etc., up to 30X. So the higher the number, the more diluted? You are right. So you describe the X scale, but what about the C scale? The difference between the two scales is that each dilution of the C scale is 100 times more diluted than its previous one. C means 100 in Latin. Okay, but why two scales? When using low dilutions like 2C, 3C, sometimes we need intermediary dilutions because 2C would still be too toxic and 3C too diluted. So the X scale allows us to use a 5X in this example, but then doctors have their habits. French doctors prefer using the C scale, whereas in Germany, X is more often prescribed. So that's why here we have both scales, but wait, what about the CK scale, like in 200 CK? This scale has been invented by the Russian physician Simeon Korsakov around 1830. He used only one vial to prepare the entire series of dilutions, whereas Hanumanian scales require one vial per dilution. This allowed him to prepare higher dilutions. Today, an automated machine allows us to prepare up to 100,000 CK. That's high, far more than 200 CK, but how do you choose one dilution versus another? That has been determined by experience. Let's take the C scale for instance. You have very low dilutions like the 1X or tincture, low dilutions like 6C, medium dilutions like 9C or 12C, and high dilutions like 15C or 30C. So when do you use the very low dilutions? when we want to use the herbal properties of the substance. For instance, we use Calendula 1X, the tincture of marigold in creams and ointments to benefit from the plant's wound healing properties. When do we use a 6C? 
Low dilutions are used to relieve symptoms that are locals. For instance, a bruise, a sore throat, a heartburn. If you can point your finger to it, then the symptom is local and a low dilution would work better. And when do we use a medium dilution? When symptoms are general, when the whole body is affected, like a fever, a large skin rash, or chills. And if the mind is affected, like with apprehension, confusion, excitation, then a high dilution, such as 30C, will work best. Okay, so this is why I got gelsemium 30C for apprehension. But now, what about the other scales? When do you choose C versus X? Except for very low dilutions, there's no sensible difference. A 6C or a 6X are low dilutions for local symptoms. And a 30C would work like a 30X. And now, what about 200CK? Is it higher than 30C? No, and let me explain why. Picture three ladders on a wall, one for each scale. The X and C ladders have 30 steps. The CK scale or ladder has many more steps because it can go up to 100,000 CK. When you place the ladder side by side, the low rungs or low dilutions are close to the ground, and the high ones are on top of the wall. You can see that 200 CK is not higher than 30 C. It is simply a medium dilution of the CK scale. Well, I think I grasp it now. It's not that complicated after all. Thanks, Melanie. You are welcome, Samuel.